Hi. In this video, um, we're going to solve two different equations that have fractions in them and a negative fractions at that. So in each of the equations, there's, we have a variable that's or an unknown divided by a negative number. All right, so the first one, we're asked to solve the equation negative 18 plus k divided by negative 5 equals negative 12. So tons of negatives here. Um, before we go on any further, I just want to make a little note. I'll write here a note k divided by negative 5, that's the same thing as negative k divided by 5. Sometimes it's easier to think of it one way, and sometimes it's easier to think of it the other, another way. And actually, it's also the same as negative k in the numerator divided by 5. So you should feel free to sort of uh, change among those three um, based on just whatever is easier for you in the way that you're thinking about a problem. All right. So negative 18 plus k divided by negative 5 equals negative 12. I'm going to start here um, by isolating my k divided by negative 5. So I'll get rid of my negative uh, 18 here first. So how can I get rid of negative 18? If I have negative 18 and then I added positive 18 to it, that would give me 0. So that would do it. So that's what I'll do. I'll add positive 18 to both sides. Now before I even write that down, I'm going to copy what I have. Negative 18 plus k divided by negative 5, and I'll leave a little space, equals negative 12. And then I'll add positive 18 to both sides. All right, um, so negative 18 plus 18, that's 0, that's why I did that. So on the left side, we just have k divided by negative 5. And on the right side, negative 12 plus 18. I'm imagining a number line here, I'm a little bit left of 0, and then I go up a little bit right of 0. So I'm at positive 6. So I guess I'll just write 6. All right. Now, um, at this point, we're down to sort of a one-step equation where we're dividing by a negative. Um, I've made another video, which I'll put a little link to on the screen right now, where I showed two different ways of doing it. For right now, I'm just going to show the way that's a bit quicker, uh, but you can definitely do it uh, the other way if you prefer. So what I'm going to do, we have k divided by negative 5. So to undo that divided by negative 5, I'm just going to multiply both sides by negative 5. Okay, divide. again, I'm going to copy what we have before I do anything to it. And now I'll very carefully do the same operation to both sides to keep these two things the same or equal. We'll multiply by negative 5. And this works because dividing and multiplying by the same number are opposites. So if we take a number and we divide it by negative 5 and multiply it by negative 5 again, those undo each other. It's just like we never did anything at all. All right, so that gives us just k on the left. And on the right, it's negative 30. OK, I'll do another example now. So this one asks us, what value of n makes negative n divided by 2 plus 7 the same as 4? Now, of course, that means the same as equal to. So maybe we'll write that down first. Negative, two, negative n divided by 2 plus 7 equal to 4. All right. Oh, and I did this was sort of even by accident here. It was just I was writing a bit messily, but I took my negative sign from out front and I put it on the top. Um, we can put it on the top or the bottom. We can interchange, just like that little note we made on the first question. All right, so I think what I would like to do, um, we could start multiplying by 2 or negative 2 as long as we do it very carefully and we multiply every single part of the equation. But I think I'd rather get rid of this 7 first. So I'm going to, and as I do it, I think I'm going to put that negative sign back on the bottom like we had on the other one. I think maybe for this way of thinking it, it's a little bit easier to have the negative on the bottom. All right, so negative, uh, n divided by negative 2 plus 7 equals 4, so I've just copied there. 
And now we want to get rid of this 7, so adding 7, the opposite of that can just be subtracting 7. Subtract 7 here. I'll make a little note here. Another way, especially if you're imagining algebra tiles, um, you might want to be thinking of that as adding negative 7. And you feel free to write adding negative 7. They're exactly, they mean exactly the same thing. All right. So on this side, this whole part here is 0. 7 minus 7 is 0. So we've got n divided by negative 2. And 4 subtract 7 is negative 3. So now again, I'm going to do, um, of several methods to finish off this equation, I'm going to do the one that's quicker. And divide it by negative 2. First, again, first I'll just copy what I've got. And this, I think, is a really good practice every time to make sure that you're writing nice algebraic solutions. So copy what you have and do an operation to it in another color, ideally, if you have one. And then on the next line, you simplify. So here, we copied what we had. We did, we subtracted 7 in purple. And then here we simplified, and now copy what we have again. And now I'm going to do the operation in my other color. So n divided by 2, I'm going to multiply, sorry, divided by negative 2, I'm going to multiply by negative 2. And because I need to keep these two sides the same, I've got to do the same on the right-hand side as well. All right, so we copied, we did the same operation to both sides, and now we'll simplify. So n divided by negative 2 times negative 2 is just n. And negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. All right, so good luck with us.